Check mark everyone. Today we're going to talk about the camera that started all for me and it is the NEX 5N from Sony. This camera, it's so small that as you can see, it's smaller than a cell phone, it's smaller than notebook, it's smaller than mouse, it's smaller than my pocket knife. It's so small, so tiny, so light. It weighs about half a pound, which is like 210 grams. It can fit in your pocket. You can do it! I'm gonna even experiment with this pocket. <laughs> Come on, that's, that's a camera. That's a professional camera. This one was released in 2010. That's 12 years ago. The technology that it have, there was no cameras have it. Or if they do, it would be like way, way more expensive than this. I got the camera, the lens, and the accessories that comes with it for like $575. That was a steal back then. Shoot 60 megapixel, full HD, shoot RAW and JPEG, continuous to 10 frames in JPEG, uh, six frames in RAW, and can shoot RAW and JPEG at the same time. It had 15 point of autofocus. Back then that was a lot, a lot. And it can shoot singular autofocus, continuous, it also have lock autofocus, have tracking autofocus, tiltable screen, doesn't go all the way. I mean, Sony, they just started doing that recently, but there was some models they had that. And it even have a smile shutter. You can connect it to the store, it has a store, connect it via Wi-Fi, put your Sony account, and you can download apps to it. Like this one, it was amazing. I don't know why a lot of these features, they stopped doing it. And one of the coolest feature that it have, it's this. So it doesn't have, but you can buy that. I didn't buy it back then. But the other cool thing is, it comes with this tiny flash and you can attach it here. As you can see. And now it has a flash. All you need to do is lift it up, take pictures. That's it. And if you wanna attach like a professional flash, if you want to attach a trigger, you can also do that. So remove this and have this. It's a third party uh, attachment. And you can attach anything to it. Let's try this flashlight. How cool is that? Let's compare it to some of the some of the recent cameras from Sony. Some APS-C which I have here, the ZE, the ZVE10. I mean, look, look in size. I mean, it's a lot smaller than this. And this is a vlogging, tiny vlogging camera. This is way smaller. It doesn't have all the features that that one have, but you can get this one with the lens, with the flash, with the external battery charger for $180 used, of course. But that's a great starting camera. If you can save up more and get the ZV-E10, I think it's the best starting camera right now for anyone who wants to get into photography. But if you're on the budget, you want to get something under 200, I think it's a very decent 
choice, especially if you want to continue with the Sony line because all your lenses that you're going to get for this one, it will work with any camera that you're going to get in the future. And even if you want to switch to full frame, you will still be able to use all the lenses. So you will not regret buying any lens because it will not lose value. You can still use that lenses. And if we want to compare it to the other APS-C sensor, which is the Sony A6500. This is another great camera, but I mean, look how bulky it is compared to this. I mean, come on, that's huge. It's a huge difference. I mean, yes, this one, it's loaded with feature, but this is not cheap. It's very expensive for what it can do, to be honest. And of course, if we want to compare it to a full frame, I mean, it's not, I know it's not going to be fair, but I mean, look at the size difference. And if you are a photographer, or if you're someone that's interested in photography, but you don't want to go outside and carry in a big camera, full frame, big lenses. And believe it or not, this is not huge lenses. There is way bigger lenses, especially if you want a telephoto. But if you want something that you can shoot without drawing a lot of attention to you, look at this. I mean, this is the camera and the lens. Let's see if it still fits in my pocket with the lens. I mean, it fits in my shirt's pocket. Can you imagine if you have a jacket or in your jeans? I mean, this is very small. Turn it on, gets a little bit bigger, but you will not be drawing any attention shooting with this. I mean, look at it. That's small. Tiltable screen, shooting low and high. I don't know. Maybe I'm emotionally invested in this camera since it's been my first camera, but let me know what's a better choice for under $180. Camera, lens, battery, flash, all this for under $180. If you have a better choice, leave it in the comment. Let's see what other suggestion is. But to me, like I said, maybe I'm too invested in it because it's my first camera, but I got a lot of great pictures with this camera and with a kit lens. So if I have to do it all over back then, I would probably still get this camera. It was great. I mean, it was doing a great job until I got the A6000, which is I needed it because I have Ivis and I was shooting a lot outside. Screen was not the greatest, so I needed viewfinder. And Sony A6000, it had everything. It's still a lot cheaper. But this day, if I'm just starting, if your budget is less than $200, this is great. If you can wait and save up more, I would probably go for the ZV-E10. Man, that name is horrible. Sony, you need to do something about it. Or for the newer ones. Stop, stop naming them stupid names. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.